Introduction to Absolute Value Inequalities We have looked at the absolute value of a number equal to 5. Now let's look at the absolute value of a number that is less than 5. So the question is, what are some numbers that are less than 5 spots away from 0, since the absolute value is the distance from 0? We can make a list. 0, 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1 half, 2 and 1 third, 2.8, 4.9. But did we write all the possible solutions? No. While 5 and negative 5 are not solutions, 4.9999 is. So to graph all the possible solutions, we need to put an open circle around 5 and negative 5 and shade in between them. We can describe these numbers as less than 5, but also greater than negative 5. So just like when we solved absolute value equations, before we can start, we need to write the equation twice. Once with the inequality being positive, and once with it being negative. To write the absolute value of x is less than 5, we would write x is less than 5 and x is greater than negative 5. Now, let's look at the inequality the absolute value of x is greater than 5. This time we are looking for some numbers that are greater than 5 spaces away from 0. Again, we can make a list. 6, 7, 8, 9.5, 7.5, 6.2. And a simple way to describe all those numbers would be to say x is greater than 5. Are those the only answers? Well, no, because negative 6, negative 7.5, negative 5.3, negative 9.5 are also numbers that are greater than 5 away from 0, and a simple way to describe all those numbers is x is less than negative 5. To rewrite absolute value of x is greater than 5 without the absolute value bars, we would write x is greater than 5 and x is less than negative 5. So, to graph all the possible solutions, we need to put an open circle around 5 and negative 5 and shade the area to the left of negative 5 and to the right of 5. Remember that we need to darken the arrows at the end to show that the numbers after the arrows are also part of the solution. Now let's do some problems. First we will look at the absolute value of x plus 5 is less than 3. To find all the solutions, we first need to write this inequality without the absolute value bars. We can write that as x plus 5 is less than 3 and x plus 5 is greater than negative 3. Then we can solve both of these inequalities by subtracting 5 from both sides. For x plus 5 is less than 3, we get x is less than negative 2. And for x plus 5 is greater than negative 3, we get x is greater than negative 8. So the final solution is x is less than negative 2 and x is greater than negative 8. In other words, x is in between negative 8 and negative 2. And we can write that as a compound inequality as well. Negative 8 is less than x, which is less than negative 2. Let's quickly graph all possible solutions. Now let's pick a value from the graph to verify our solution. We can try negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1, so the absolute value is 1, and 1 is less than 3. Now let's try the problem the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 4. First we need to write that inequality without the absolute value bars. We would write it as two inequalities. x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 4, or x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 4. Now to solve these, we will add 3 to each side of both of the inequalities, getting x is greater than or equal to 7, or x is less than or equal to negative 1. Let's quickly graph all possible solutions. Because the original problem was greater than or equal to, we will need to place a shaded circle on negative 1 and 7. Now, let's pick some test values to verify our solution. We can try negative 5 and positive 10. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8, and the absolute value of negative 8 is 8 and 8 is greater than 4. 10 minus 3 is 7, and the absolute value of 7 is 7, and 7 is greater than 4. So that seems to work. If you have any more math questions, head over to frontporchmath.com. There you will find videos, written explanations, and worksheets.